What's up guys, Mount Alligator Performance. We are hanging out with Christian from BD Diesel, uh, checking out some of the torque converter, uh, I guess the, the raw material and, and what you guys yep. do with the process the machine shop here to turn it into a, a usable product. Definitely, definitely. So uh, we feel we need a lot of strength in the torque converter. And so what we actually start with on all our torque converters, we actually start with a solid forging. Uh, so this unifies the grain uh, structure to create the highest strength possible. So this part here weighs about 95 pounds. And uh, after we're through with it, we actually have a torque converter cover that weighs uh, approximately 22 pounds. Uh, so you Ooh. can see we actually go from that yeah. to this. Definitely weighs a lot. Yeah, definitely. Um, and so with the forging, you get that unified grain. Uh, you actually get a material reduction, so it saves in machining cost. Um, at the same time, too, we optimize the strength. So all our torque converter covers are actually machined here in our lathe department, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's for the Allison, uh, 68RFE, 4748s. Right. Uh, they're all machined right here. And that's all pretty much done in the machine behind, at least to get to this part. Exactly, yeah. So it's actually depending on uh, which torque converter we're talking about. It could be a two-stage process. Uh, so sometimes the load is either shared between a lathe and one of the mills. Um, mm -hmm or the Yakuma or the Mazak, but uh, the majority of the machining is actually done here on this machine behind us. Right. What's the, uh, what process are we doing right now in the, in the background? For sure, what we're doing actually in the background is actually the uh, facing on the back. So we're taking the, the raw forging, so we call it off two, uh, and we're actually creating this profile here. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is we'll do a roughing pass, and then we'll do a finishing pass here, where we'll start profiling um, and drilling and threading the back side of the uh, converter cover. Yeah, it definitely has a uh, uh, nice finish to it. Then what do you guys do after this? So after this process, um, it's actually finished. So what we'll do is we'll deburr it and it'll get head right on over to the torque converter department where we'll utilize it uh, in the applications and they'll actually weld it right up to an actual finished torque converter. Awesome. You pretty much do a uh, torque converter across the line and different stalls uh, for uh, basically the Allison, the GM setup, um, the, the 48s, the 68s, yep. and then all the Ford transmissions as well. Exactly. Um, so uh, we've been very happy with your guys' support of our product. Seems like you guys got that down on lockdown. Uh, if you guys have any questions at all, just hit us up. Otherwise, we have all the BD Torque Converter part numbers available on our website at alligatorperformance.com.